it's not official until you see the N. So today, Android N was released. However, I still have my Pure Nexus ROM on here. So what I'm gonna do is return to stock on Roots and try to get that updated. While you're in the recovery, you just wanna wanna click on backup and take whatever you wanna backup. You can go to options right here, enable compression. If you wanna encrypt, you can. And select the storage where you wanna go. So for now, I'm gonna put it to the internal storage and then copy it over to my PC afterwards. So just swipe and allow it to do its thing. Normally when you're compressing it, it takes a longer time. So you can just put it down, let it back up, go get something to eat and come back. Okay, so it's finished. Let's reboot the system and copy it over to the computer. Okay, so this is the first look of the Android beta program and I'm pretty excited guys. I gotta say I'm pretty excited. Look at this. So the first thing you see is this brand new notification tray. You can expand it like that. And it's all like together. You can edit it, drag tiles around. I love this part about it in the settings. Like as you open the settings, you see your Wi-Fi. It's on, Bluetooth disabled, data used, display, notifications, ringer. It's your battery, it's at 46%. Go into System UI Turner. And we have all these other little things that you can adjust. We can have night mode turned on. Use a dark theme. Adjust the tint, the brightness. We can have it turn on automatically. So another pretty really awesome feature of Android N that I love is being able to switch back to your recent app pretty quickly. So let's say I was in a browser and I went into the call log. I want to go back into the browser. Just double tap on the recent button and bam, just like that. Back to the call log. This is pretty dope guys. This is incredibly dope right now. Um, my mind is blown. Again, another feature is it's like the half swipe and the full swipe. So for this, you can just do the half swipe, open settings, and you can either block all notifications, don't silence or block, or just show notifications silently. So I thought that was pretty cool. Another handy little feature that you can use is in the display settings. You can change how the display is, how big and small it is. This is the default right now. You can swipe over and let it get larger. Like that. Or it's really small. So that's pretty cool. Another feature you can do is reply straight from the notification with any app. So normally this was pretty cool with Hangouts, which I loved. Now I can do it right here. So this is my WhatsApp. And I can just reply right here. It's pretty awesome. I love it. If you want the Chrome, you just hold it down and bring it up, it pops up. And say I want Google Plus, it goes down the bottom. So this is pretty cool, this is pretty dope. I like this, I like this a lot. Yeah, so my WhatsApp crashed, but it still looks pretty dope. All right, here is one of the first little bugs I have. So I have the music app open, but when I go to the hit home, 
it's still right there see it's still there so I guess I have to close it out I don't know drag it all the way down and then hit home so I mean it's not perfect it's beta as you guys know so it will have its bugs and quirks you just have to know if you want to roll with it or not okay so that's been it guys see you in the next one